Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. This will be a quick video to address some of the issues since the last video. In this video, we're going to cover a few updates to Remix and Solidity. Since our last video, the default on Remix is now version 5 instead of version 4. I noticed a few questions related to things not working. This could be the issue, or it could be user error. But in order to address this particular issue, we're going to cover some fixes and ways to handle that. So today we're going to cover debugging solidity issues and how you would modify a few things to make your code work for this video series. You can use this as a guideline in future videos if what you're trying to achieve isn't working and the solidity versions stop you from following along. The easiest thing to do for the videos is to just select the appropriate compiler version that was used in the original video. You'll notice here we use 0.4.2 in the last video and right here we have an error that says, oh, our compiler version is wrong because 0.5.2 is select by default. However, you can go down here, select a 0.4. something version. And if we do that, wait for it to propagate, problem solved, our error is gone, and we should be good to move on. But since we wanna use 0.5 moving forward, we're gonna select that again. So now I have 0.5.2 selected, and this error told me I'm using the wrong one. So obviously we need to go up here and change this to 0.5. I'm going to use 0.5.0. I'm going to hit Control S, and the error went away. But now we're going to run into 0.5 specific errors. Um, one, I believe 0.4 wasn't as stringent on the actual format of this address. However, if you look at the error, um, I'm going to copy that. It says that it looks like the address has an invalid checksum, and then it shows us the address here. We can fix that by opening up Etherscan and letting it convert it for us. Um, so if I open this up and I click any of these, doesn't really matter, and paste in our address up here. The enter button and now you'll notice two capital D to lowercase d so it created the proper format for us we can hit copy to clickboard and paste that in here now you'll notice it changed the values so some of these are uppercase some are lowercase but it's in the proper format it's looking for hit control s and that error went away um, probably the most uh, appropriate way to do it would be to write a function in solidity to handle this for us but we're just trying to get through these labs right now, so that would be the easiest way to handle it when going through the labs. Um, next up, if we check the next error, it says fallback function uh, must be defined as external. So one of the new issues with five must mean you have to have to specify that when we're using the function. So what we can do is right here, this is defined as a public payable function. Uh, we can change this public to external and hit control s and there it goes the error went away and now our function should work as intended i should also note that i updated the target code and pasted it to the github account and uh, it says version 5.0 on it so use that one if you are updating your code i hope that was helpful just kind of digging into the errors and making some simple changes one thing you should understand is that ethereum is an emerging technology and all of the development environments are also changing all the time. So you're going to have to get used to just making changes on the fly based on the new compiler versions. The easiest way to handle it, like stated, was just go up here and select the appropriate compiler version for what was used in the video. But if you are running into issues and you want to change it for some reason, start searching around Google. You'll find stack overflows of people having the same issues and what the new things you have to do in order to work with the new compiler version R. And uh, I hope this was helpful. If it was, hit the like button. If you're running into any other issues, just uh, Google around whatever the actual error is, and you should find a fix for it. Uh, moving forward with the new videos, we'll be using the version 5. However, you know, I anticipate that to change in the future and just use the same principles here to fix your code or change the compiler version. All right, so uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button below and subscribe for more videos.